Most of the people who have evacuated the last Islamic State stronghold in Syria are related to the fighters in some way. Many are their wives, widows or children, and many have not lost their faith in the group. Um Mohammed says she believes Ayas was right to kill their enemies, and she hopes her five children grow up to follow in their father's footsteps. I won't need to tell them. They know what they love. They love Islamic State. Their father was a member. Aid workers say the only way they know to counter the widespread extremism in the camps is to provide humanitarian aid and prove they are not the enemy. But overcrowding and lack of basic supplies is increasingly threatening that goal. In recent days, at least 100 people have died either traveling to the camp or when they arrived. Almost all were children. Besides a deadly health crisis, thousands of tents are needed to shelter new arrivals. We are in the emergency situation right now, as you see, because we have a lot of people come from a lot of parts uh, which was under control uh, from ISIS, and we have a lot of needs. Foreign families of IS fighters are kept separately, with many waiting to hear if their countries of origin will take them back. The future for Syrian and Iraqi families is also not clear. IS retreated for years as they were pushed out of cities and towns. The families are now far from home and may be rejected by their communities if they try to return. But aid organizations say the camp is at a breaking point and future concerns have to wait while they try to deal with the current emergency. Heather Murdoch, VOA News, Al-Hol Camp, Syria.